Okay, morning update, day five. five. We uh, had- It was supposed to be a rest day. It was supposed to be a rest day, but last night we we're like, why don't we have our rest day af in the halfway point instead of on day after day four? And that made sense. So we're hiking today, taking the bus back from Balfouret to Cordemayer. Um, the hotel's awesome. Uh, Croy, uh, future Angel put it on the screen. And um, really nice breakfast, really nice hotel. And the hotel is like only 25 euro more than the Refugio Elisabetta. I mean, really good deal and uh, beautiful. Right near, we ate dinner at Tunnel last night, which highly recommend. And it's like a block from there, a block from a grocery store, a block from a pharmacy. It's right in the center of everything. And um, Cormier is really cool. Seems like a sort of a ritzy ski kind of town. And um, we just walked about a mile uh, to the trail. Actually, the trail goes straight through there, but um, we walked about a mile to this part. We're about to start a horrendous climb. And we did get our, our gelato dreams did come true yesterday and it was so good. But this looks nasty. I don't know, I think I stopped filming maybe yesterday, but coming down that ski area was really bad. First of all, it wasn't, it was, it was pretty. It was like an alpine foresty kind of vibe, but it wasn't awesome. Um, and my right knee started just so painful. So at a certain point, we took the dirt road that wound up to the ski area um, just to avoid the narrow trail and uh, made it, but it was bad. Going up, nothing. Going down. Haven't tested it out yet today, but I hope it, uh, I hope that doesn't happen again. So we're about 2.2 miles out of Comayer, climbed 1,850 feet in two miles. That's a lot. That's yeah. pretty steep. How do you think today is going to be? I think it's going to be good. We just have to get up and then we're going to be flat hopefully or down. Yeah, it looks like maybe two more miles and we get some along the contours like flat. Um, the only issue today is that general called me a stress case about the last bus back to Cormier is at 6.43. And the uh, guidebook hours. said seven and a half hours. The sign said eight and something hours. And you said six and a half. And so we should be fine, but we just gotta keep our pace going a little bit. Have a nice hike. All right, we made it to Refugio Breton, 2,500 feet and 2.8 miles. <laughs> what do you think so far today? It's good. Mom. Well, and we could see the uh, mountain we came down across the way um, from yesterday. It's beautiful. The weather's beautiful, and that um, alpine forest on the way up was beautiful. And now we're above the tree line. And I think we only have about 600 feet of elevation until we start uh, going down again. Not sure about that because we're always wrong, but that's what it looks like on the map. You're so cute. 
we finally figured out how to improve Jen's pace. Put a cow with horns behind her. Works pretty well. I know you just lived through a lot of cow footage, but uh, that was kind of cool. miles in we've gone 3,100 feet in elevation and we're eating last night's pizza on the side of the trail and it's delicioso it is and we also have some sandwiches from a couple days ago that are soggy in my pack and disgusting but they're for an emergency Refugio Banati. We've gone 7.7 .7 miles and climbed 3,400 feet. We've discovered the best soda of all time. It's delicious. Anything to add? I'm going to fall asleep right here. We're continuing our Has a Human Ever Stood There game. Has a human ever stood right there? I'm gonna say no. I don't think any human has ever stood there, ever. If they had a refugio in that place we saw the other day, why wouldn't somebody have stood there? I just don't, I don't <laughs> get it. I don't get why anyone would I ever really go there. I really don't know why. You don't have the elite athlete attitude. <laughs> like mama. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Long cut. Hello. Those lunches look good. 
the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport, the thrill of victory, and the agony of defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are experiencing today is some of the most elite athleticism I've ever witnessed. John, I think you'll agree, uh, Jennifer Gianni is poised to take the world championship of slow hiking. Her, her style, she, her original style, uh, I don't know if she's going to do her signature move for us, the stop, but it's one of the best I've ever seen. Ringo, you couldn't be more right. She is just an incredible athlete. I've seen grandmothers pass her. I've seen little children pass her. I, I, her form is just incredible. It's That she can go that slow is just amazing. <laughs> Nobody deserves the title like Jennifer Gianni. <laughs> See, that's one of those decisions you gotta make. I just saved about two feet of incline and I'll take it. Every freaking ounce of energy totally counts. Whoa. Down there is where the bus comes, that little circle. We're hoping we make one. We have 30 minutes. We have 30 minutes. Oh, it's gonna be close with Long. What's her, what's her nickname? Long Cut. Long Cut. If we make the bus stop in 10 minutes, we don't have to wait an hour. We might do it. We might do it. It all depends on the Long Cut. I keep forgetting her nickname. How do you feel about being slow as hell but still making the bus? Good? I think we made it with about five minutes to spare. Okay, today we went from uh, Cormayer to Val Ferret. It was about 11 miles. It took us seven and a half hours. There were some brutal climbs, but the total was maybe 3,500 feet, so not so bad. And um, Refugio Bonatti was really nice, beautiful. Saw some amazing scenery. Basically the whole day was down this one valley with this raging river at the bottom and just amazing views, it was crazy. A couple of things about today, there's a, uh, like, 100, 100, 50, 50, 100, 50, 200. There's a lot of cows. And they um, they got on the trail with us and they were behind us and in front of us and uh, to the side of us. And they were like very athletic cows. Like they were, they were doing kicks and trotting and like, it was very steep too. And they were just like, it was nuts. So that was kind of cool, except Jen didn't like it because um, she thought they were going to gore her. The cows is my favorite. The cows? What was your favorite part of mm, probably, mm, probably the cows. And then the bus sound. 
Yeah. The cows are your favorite part. You're scared. Yeah, you're scared. Yeah, it was. Well, I mean, it was kind of a cool, different thing. Yeah, it was cool. Okay. And how how strenuous was today? Well, I started off really tired, and I'm like more exhausted than I've been. Future Ange here, and if you're doing this hike, definitely recommend taking a day off from Cormier if you can. It's a great little town. It's got amazing restaurants. It's really beautiful. It's fun to walk around. And it was just a really nice, relaxing place to hang out for a day. We didn't do much of anything. I took about five hot baths. The girls got some massages because they're fancy like that. And basically, we just ate, walked around, and relaxed. And it was really nice to have that day to recover a little bit. I didn't film much of anything on our day off, but we'll see you on the next hiking day when we walk out of Italy and into Switzerland. Thanks for watching. Please hit like if you like this video, click the alert bell for notifications, and please subscribe. See you next time.